what is WhatsApp sandbox feature and how to use it to your benefit when you are implementing your WhatsApp business API. Understanding this sandbox feature can help you save a ton of time while you implement this whole WhatsApp API. In this video, I'll also be talking about the three steps to you know successfully exit the sandbox stage and go to the live stage so that you can experience WhatsApp API to its fullest. So do stay till the end if you want to make the best use of the WhatsApp sandbox feature. Without further ado, let's start the show. My name is Anthony and I'm the founder of Alpha Marketer. Today we are entering episode number 15 of the conversational marketing show. This is your go-to show to learn about conversational marketing and turn those conversations into conversions. What is a sandbox? Okay, in the normal world, a sandbox is a setup where children go and play and they can do whatever they want, and it's a safe environment to play and test things out. So, in the tech world, sandbox is basically a testing environment. Okay, before you, you know, uh, deploy something to the, the the vast majority of public to to try it out. There is a sandbox environment where you can test things out. That's what sandbox means in the tech world. Okay. So whenever you are starting off, when you are implementing your WhatsApp API, okay, through a BSP. BSP means business solution provider. So the software companies like Wati, AISNC, Hello Messenger, Interact, all these are BSPs. Okay. So when you start implementing, uh, you know, WhatsApp API through them, Initially, you will be put into a sandbox stage. So how do you know that you are in the sandbox stage or not? Okay, so when you're just starting out, uh, go to your Facebook business manager and under that there will be a tab called WhatsApp manager. Okay, click on the WhatsApp manager and you can see under the message limit section, you can see that it is sandbox. So why does WhatsApp provide you with a sandbox environment? What is the meaning of this? Okay. So typically when you start off with the application process, you go and apply for the WhatsApp API, you select a number and you submit for the uh, API application. Then you have to verify your Facebook business manager. And then lastly, you, you also need to get your display name approved, the name that will be displayed on your WhatsApp account. All these things need to be manually verified by Facebook and, uh, and then approved. Okay. Uh, this takes time. Okay. Uh, in normal scenario, it will take at least two to four days for the manual review and the approval to happen. Now, the sandbox feature allows you to save time. Okay, while this application review is happening in the back end, you can start building your chatbots. You can take your WhatsApp number, whichever you are selected, and start building your chatbots and testing those chatbots. Okay. You can start, you know, creating templates and submitting them for approval and testing them out. So it is basically let the approval happen on its side. It will take time. In the meantime, we can do all this testing and get things ready. Suppose within this four days of time, if my chatbot is ready, if my all the templates are ready, all the sequence are ready, then on the fourth day, when the approval comes through, then I'm ready to go live and, you know, start experiencing WhatsApp uh, API to the fullest. Okay. That's the reason we are given the sandbox environment so that we don't waste time and make the best use of it. It's a test environment. So during this period, you can test whatever WhatsApp messages that you want to send to, to only two numbers. Okay. So you can have your number plus maybe one of your uh, seniors or colleagues number and then start testing uh, you know whether the bot is working fine or not with the template uh, messages appearing fine or not all these things you can test in the sandbox environment for only two numbers okay so uh, this sandbox environment uh, you know will be available to you for a period of 30 days okay if your uh, whatsapp api application goes through and you're satisfied all the condition then you will move from the sandbox environment to the live environment. Just in case your API application is not approved within 30 days, 
then you will even lose the sandbox access okay now how do we move from sandbox stage to the live stage there are three conditions to it number one you should ensure that your facebook business manager is verified okay now how do you do it uh, you have to go to the business settings under that you will have a tab called security center click on that and then you will see a button called start verification click on this and then they will ask you for some documents some documents that show the proof of your business your address of your business and they'll also ask some government ids once you submit the document it will be manually verified and if it is compliant of their rules then your business manager will be verified now let's talk about the second step the second step is your account status should be connected which means your phone number that you are submitted has been approved for the whatsapp api okay so how do you find that the number has been approved and the account status is connected now go to your facebook business manager and there under business settings you can find whatsapp manager click on whatsapp manager there you can see the status here okay it will show connected if it is connected then your second criteria is also uh, satisfied okay and the last step is basically getting your display name approved okay whatsapp has its own guidelines as to how you should apply for a display name the name that will be displayed on your whatsapp interface like when people uh, check your you know whatsapp number the name that needs to be displayed there okay there is a detailed document on the best practices to apply for the display name and i will post that link in the description do check that out so if all these three conditions are satisfied you will automatically move from sandbox stage to live stage okay this is when you can start sending all the notifications all your broadcast campaigns your cart abandonment messages your cash on delivery recovery everything okay so it is important that you satisfy all these three conditions and get to live as soon as possible use the sandbox period wisely and use it to build your chatbots test them build templates test them and do all kinds of experiments during the sandbox period okay so i hope this video was useful just in case if you need help in implementing whatsapp conversational marketing for your e-commerce business do reach out to us simply go to this link alpha marketer.in slash chat when you visit this link you'll be welcomed by my whatsapp chatbot it will guide you to the whole process as to how you can work with us and use our services to implement whatsapp conversational marketing for your business and just in case if you want to learn whatsapp conversational marketing and implement this on your own or you want to start an agency and implement whatsapp marketing for your clients then you can learn from us simply go to this link alpha marketer.in slash chat you'll be welcomed by my chatbot and it will introduce you to my coaching and mentorship program Currently, there is a waitlist going on, so you can join the waitlist. When we open the enrollment for the next batch, you will be informed. Thank you so much for your time. Please do subscribe to this channel and hit the like button. It will motivate me to create more and more videos and help companies to grow their business with conversational marketing. Thank you so much and bye-bye.